Seven citizens and welcome back to the channel and welcome to my first video on Star Citizen. Look at this weather. <laughs> this is outstanding. I love it. It's brilliant. Um, if you're from Elite Dangerous and you haven't tried Star Citizen yet and you're wondering kind of what it's like, this is one of the planets. This is Hurston. Um, it's one of the main planets in one of the systems. Or not systems, it's all one system, but it's one of the main planets anyway. Um, and this is what weather looks like on a planet. We just don't get this in Elite Dangerous. Uh, this is outstanding. So anyway, I digress. You will get used to that if you're new to the channel. I always digress. It's just what I do. However, this is my character. I was going to do a wave to do the intro, but it's borked and not doing anything. So yes. Today we're going to cover a very, very important subject, which is increasing your FPS in Star Citizen. So the game is known for being unoptimized. It's known for being a bit of a system hog. Annoyingly, just before doing this video, my frame rate has been outstanding and now it's kind of dropped and not doing very much. However, normally I will be between 50 and 68 to 70 FPS on a planet and around stations. I'm anywhere from, I'm usually around 40 to 55 FPS. So in stations, it can be lower. One tip I will give you is if you are new to the game and you don't know this already, if your FPS is low and it's usually higher, that's just a bad connection to the server. Log back out, log back in. I know it could be a pain in the backside because it puts you back to wherever you were, um, but that will increase your FPS. If you log into a station and your FPS is low, log it back out and log it back in, it's not going to cost the end of the world. If your frame rate is high in the station, you're going to be good to go. Away you go and go and enjoy the verse. However, let's get into the settings. So here are my graphic settings that I use and the ones that I found that just give you the best FPS that you can possibly get. So resolution in this game means absolutely nothing. I can run the game at 1440p, I can run it at 1080. It doesn't make a difference to my FPS. It jumps around between the same ranges. It doesn't really make any difference. Windowed mode, uh, whether you run this in full screen, borderless or windowed is kind of entirely up to you. So borderless and full screen will give you the better performance. Full screen will give you the best performance. However, the difference between full screen and borderless is about two or three FPS. It's not game breaking, but for you, it could be the difference between the game being smoother and not being smooth. So kind of go on your own feeling for that one. Personally, I run full screen because when I want to get to my second monitor, if I'm flying, I have to alt tab anyway, because the mouse controls the ship as well. I use a HOTAS, but the mouse still controls the ship. So I end up moving my ship just to try and move the mouse. So I all tab anyway, which means borderless really for me is useless. Next up is quality. You would think this would have a massive, massive difference. And again, dear friend, you'd be wrong. So very high will cost more resources than everything else. I think that one is kind of a given. However, where it gets interesting is low, medium and high give you no difference between the three the FPS is exactly the same. So personally, I just set it to high and left it. I haven't touched it. Very high, there is a bit of a difference there. So very high does decrease your FPS a little bit. Field of view, personal choice, set it to what you want. Motion blur, I turn that off because I don't like motion blur for a start. Why they put that in game is beyond me. Well, I know why they do it. I just don't like it. Um, however, it does also cost a little bit of FPS as well. So I turn motion blur off. And then V-Sync, I have mine off because I have a G-Sync monitor. And as you can see, the FPS does bounce around a lot. Uh, if you don't have a G-Sync or a FreeSync monitor, um, then I would recommend having V-Sync turned on uh, just to reduce any possible tearing you're going to get. Sharpening. This one shouldn't matter, but weirdly it does. Are you starting to see a trend here? Because it's all a bit strange. Sharpening does increase your FPS. I don't know why it shouldn't do, but it does. So when I have sharpening on 50% or 50, my FPS is noticeably lower by five or six. And as soon as I put it to 100, I got a bump in FPS and that's in a station. So yeah, set your sharpening to 100. It doesn't make a huge difference on the overall aesthetics of the game. It's not going to suddenly look like a sharpened mess, but it does increase your FPS. Chromatic aberration has absolutely zero effect on FPS. Set it to what you want. I leave it at 100 and I've just left it. Film grain, I've turned off because I don't like film grain in games. So that's my settings there. Now, there are a couple of other tips that I will give you to increase, not really increase FPS, but just increase your performance in game. So number one, make sure the game is installed on an SSD. This part is basically a must. You have to have this installed on SSD. It will take you forever and a day to load in otherwise. Next up, make sure you have 16 gig of RAM. 
That one is kind of the game warranty of that anyway. You don't really want to run this with less than 16 gig. It's not going to run very nice. I've also spoken to a couple of citizens who have upgraded from 16 to 32 and noticed a bit more stability as well. Whether I would recommend that, I not I don't know. That's that's entirely on you. I don't know your budget or anything like that. Personally, I'm still on 16. I don't have any issues. The issues I'm getting now are I'm running OBS and I'm recording at the same time, so that's probably affecting my FPS plus the weather. Next up is something called a page file. Now, I'm not going to teach the guys who know about page files to suck eggs here. You know what a page file is. You know how to set it. Make sure you have a page file set up uh, and make sure it's big enough. However, if you don't know what a page file is, just think of that as your memory. So it sticks of memory. Just think of that as memory on your hard drive. It's a file that Windows creates for quick access to information it needs on a regular basis. It's not as fast as accessing RAM, but it's still pretty darn good. So make sure you have a page set file set up. Now, key part here as well is make sure your page file and make sure that your game are installed on two different SSDs or two different hard drives. Generally speaking, you want a page file on an SSD as well. But set them up on two different SSDs. Now, for those of you who don't know what a page file is, I'm going to go through in this video and I'm actually going to show you what a page file is. And before I forget to do this, I'm going to cut to that now. Okay, so here we are on the desktop. So the first thing you're going to do is come down to your start button down here. You're going to right click it and you're going to come to system. Click system and you're going to come across to advanced system settings on the right hand side. Click there once. Then you're going to go to advanced at the top up here. You'll see computer name, hardware, advanced system protection and remote. Click advanced, click settings under performance. And then from here, click advanced again. And then a virtual memory. This is your page file. This is what a page file is. It's called virtual memory. That's the official name for it. So we're going to click change. And then from here, choose where you want your swap file to go or your page file to go. They're called different things. Swap file, page file, virtual memory. They're all the same thing. So choose where you want it to go and then set custom size. Now you, there's two ways of doing this. You can set custom size or you can set system managed size. Personally, I prefer custom size. I have loads of hard drive space, so I've set it as 16 gig with a max of 32 gig. That's huge. You don't necessarily need to go that high. However, that's what I've done. And then click set. Once you've clicked set, click OK, click OK and click OK. That's it. That's your page file done. OK, sweet. Okay, so that's how you do a page file. So and that's also how you basically increase your performance and increase your FPS within Star Citizen. Annoyingly, I was at 68 FPS sat here. <laughs> And then I think the weather's kind of kicked in and, and just kind of lowered it. But look how cool that looks. That is freaking amazing. So there you go. That's my first video on Star Citizen. I broke my cherry. Yay! I'm proud of myself. Um, normally at this point, I'd be telling you fine, fine people that you're beautiful and stay elite to stay dangerous. However, obviously I can't do that in Star Citizen. So don't stay elite and don't stay dangerous in Star Citizen because... Yeah, just don't. Um, so I don't actually have an outro for this one. So I will just say, enjoy the verse. If you're new to the game, enjoy it. I'm loving it so far. And if you're more experienced in the game, feel free to drop some more tips uh, in the comments below. If you have anything to do with FPS that you think will help as well, drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer. I try to reply to every single comment I get. So until next time, enjoy the verse and I'll think of a better outro. All right, take care. All the best. Bye.